Hello guys, welcome to Developers in the 360 Degrees. 15 questions, 5 minutes, 360 degrees. Are you ready, Rachma? Super ready. Let's do it. Oh, fuck, I'm with the... With the... Oh, with your shades? Uh, it doesn't matter, or it's not... I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, should be fine. <laughs> oh my god! When did you start coding and why? I started coding um, during my first year in college. So before that, I was actually never exposed to coding. Um, and so coding for me was a very alien and a very unfamiliar concept. For me, the concept of a programmer just looking into a dark screen, that like that, that was my worldview. And that's probably um, a lot more of an ignorant view that a lot of people hold who don't have um, kind of full uh, appreciation about coding. But yeah, it was first year in college. What are your favorite programming languages? I quite like Java. Um, I recently started picking up Go and I quite enjoy that as well. Uh, and, and interestingly enough, I really enjoy the functional programming languages too. Um, I really enjoy Scala. What are your favorite technical books and what did you learn from them? I don't know if I specifically find technical books and I like, you know, run from them. Uh, I, for me, it's a lot about just like, as almost every job I've had so far, I've had to pick up a new programming language. Uh, and it's about like, getting more familiar with their language on the job. So like looking at how like, you know, it's been developed, what's the ecosystem at work for it? What is a greater community for it? Um, you know, Stack Overflow has always become your next best friend um, to figure out and learn something more. So I, I've always been kind of been played by the ear and learn about it as I go along. What is the most important advice anybody in the world has given you? This was given to me by my first manager as of a, uh, I was about to transition roles and move on to a different job. Um, and he told me one thing. He's like, you know, Rahma, at the end of the day, it's all about people. Um, so whatever you do, whatever code you write, whatever projects you lead, just remember that like you're going to be dealing with people at the end of the day um, and you need to be kind of very wary of like the personal aspect of people. And I think that is something I apply both professionally and personally. It's not about you, it's about the people. Exactly. What project would you consider your most significant career accomplishment to date? I would say it would be leading the 529 project. Um, and so the 529 product was, it, I'll actually explain to the folks who are not so familiar with it. It's effectively a college savings plan. Um, it's That's what they're called in the States. It's a college savings investment plan. So any money, and by the way, anyone can actually invest in that. So parents, grandparents, you could do that for your niece or nephew. Um, and any money that you appreciate or any investments that appreciate based on like, you know, the market gains, as long as you take the money out and you use it for college uh, funds or college related expenses, you don't have to pay a tax on those investments oh, appreciation. Wow. Uh, and I think for me, it was about like really leading a big product in the company. And also the fact that this is like, College education is just something that's very important to me. I think uh, it's a very strong initiative. And with the growing cost of college in the States, it's very important that people are able to invest in a plan um, to secure their child's future college education. What is the thing that passionate you most in your daily day life? Uh, the thing that actually keeps me going is almost sometimes like the surprises and like how much like my job changes. I think um, one of the things I'd love to say about Deliveroo is uh, the opportunity that you have or like sometimes potentially even like all the things that you could potentially go out and just fix, like that just keeps me most passionate. Like there's never been a day at work where I'm like, oh, like everything's been done with, everything's been dealt with, like why am I even coming to work? Like you can really feel the rush in you to go like, I need to get into work and I need to probably work on 10 different things, but I can only prioritize and pick the top three things and work on that. What is the thing that you would change? Uh, that you don't necessarily like that much? I think the thing that I've actually already started changing and that would be about picking something and focusing on it and prioritizing that and leaving the other things. Like, so again, you know, when I go to work, I, didn't, I can identify about 10 different things that I could work on, but realistically, I can only accomplish or make progress on about three of those things. So I need to pick out what my three top things are, focus on those and actively say no to everything else. So it goes back to the Steve Jobs advice, which is like, you need to learn how to say no. When you're not working, what are the three hobbies that you enjoy most? I've recently gotten a lot more into running. I really enjoy that. Um, I enjoy reading. Uh, and then I think the other thing I'd like to say would be actually just connecting back with family and friends. Um, because I've moved so much, I really haven't lived at any place for like longer than nine years. And that was the first nine years of my life. Like everything else has been like 
about three, four years-ish. Um, the perks of that is like, you know, you get to a place, you make lots of new friends and you get to know a lot of new people and a lot of new different experiences. The downside of that is like you eventually move out and you leave those people. So you have to make an extra effort to keep in touch. You love hiking and cycling, right? Mm -hmm. Where is your favorite place in the world to hike in? That would have to be Portola Redwoods in California. If you could be an animal in the world, what animal you could be and why? Um, I always like to believe the cat is my true spirit animal, so I'd be a cat. What is the funniest thing that has happened to you recently? Uh, one time, I was actually, this was in Seattle, uh, and I got a bit of turmeric powder on my hand, uh, and it almost led me to believe that I had like some sort of a disease because I couldn't rub it off, and I had no idea that it was actually turmeric powder on my hand, and it stays for a while, so yeah, it, it really, really shocked me for a little bit there. <laughs> if you were a movie character, who could you be and why? I'd love to be Wonder Woman and that's just because she represents strength and um, female leadership so I quite admire that. So if you want to make the perfect impression, impression on someone, mm. you need to choose one restaurant, okay. one delivery restaurant of course, yeah. and one seat in the world. Which one would you put it in? I would definitely choose London because it's probably one of my most favorite cities in the world. Uh, uh, but the restaurant's actually not here, my, one of my favorite restaurants. So my favorite restaurant's actually, it's in Redwood City, it's called Vesta, um, and it has the most amazing Italian pizza, so. <laughs> All right, London City. London City, but a <laughs> restaurant, restaurant, exactly, awesome. yeah. Okay, so we finished the interview, and you found like a lottery ticket, and you win $10 million. How good do you use them? I would invest part of the money. I would um, donate part of the money. Um, and then I would put the rest of the money towards better causes, such as um, child education for especially like the female child. What is the advice that you would give to yourself if you were starting your career? So the advice that I'd give to myself is the fact that like at the end of the day, it boils down to all hard work. Um, it's not about, and I, that was really me when I started, which is like, oh, I have a certain cap. I can only achieve this much, right? Because everyone after that is like either something that you have to be extra ambitious or just be extra talented to achieve that. And I don't think any of those things are true. Like I, I don't think you need a special set of talents to like achieve position X, Y, and Z. I think you just need to be able to have focus, have the ambition, um, and then just work hard at it. So hard work pays off. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Peace. <laughs>